Hi, this is Deacon Larry, and this is Renewed. We're coming upon the great feast that ends our liturgical year, the Feast of Christ the King, King of the universe, the Lord of the cosmos. As we think about the Feast of Christ the King, it's hard for us very often to think about kings, although this year it's a little bit easier as we've had the death of Queen Elizabeth of England, and now we have King Charles III. We recognize in our world the presence of kings, those who are sovereigns, and as we went through the experience of the transfer of power from Elizabeth to Charles III, we saw how important that role is to the English people. By extension, when we think of Christ the King, what we're invited to recognize is that all time and all space are the domain of Christ the King. That is, He reigns over all, space and time. He reigns beyond time, beyond space. What's that mean for, for us who live and work in a, in a world and in a country, in a particular country, where we're not so keen on the idea of kingship? It's a reminder for us that there's no dimension of our life that is outside God's call for us to reflect His love, to reflect His glory, to reflect His goodness, to reflect His joy. So whether it's in our work life, our home life, our neighborhood life, our civic life, no matter where we are, the King still reigns. Vivo Cristo Rey, we say. And so as we think about that great call for Christ to continue to reign, it's an invitation for us to open every dimension of our life to be a reflection of the King's glory. If we're doing that day in and day out, not only will we be renewed, but we will renew the world. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.